What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today I've made some pretty massive progress out of nowhere with an incredibly long grind session behind it So I've got a video pretty early for you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Episode 4. Let's jump right in And there we go, 100 leather working. Okay, so we're gonna start this video with some progress and some PvP, some open world PvP that is. But we're gonna transition into some pretty major milestones for the account, maxing out a skill, something that uh, you probably didn't think would come so quickly uh, because I found some pretty amazing farming spots and I was able to bust it out crazy quick. So what you're going to see is essentially that journey. We start the video off at uh, level 43. You can see right here, just got to level 43. And I basically bust out quests in Weaver's Fen, and I'm collecting furniture and just trying to get as much XP as I can. When I realize I really need to get back around to uh, getting my logging up as much as I possibly can, right? It's a goal that I have not completed yet that I desperately need to complete. And so that was going to be the goal. But before we did that, we got into some pretty interesting fights. Alright, just a quick update. It's a green world, and uh, purple and yellow are just living in it. Uh, green just took Monarch's bluff. This is absolutely a major blow. Winds word Monarch's Everfall, that's what you want to own right now. That's where the traffic is, because that's where people start the game. That's where the best prices are. But Monarch's bluff was the last safe haven of a non-green player in the south. It's gone now. <laughs> okay, it's gone! They only have these two high-level zones, and they won't have it for long. You can see the fort's even owned by green in this one, and by green in this one! It's just, it's just so bad. Oh, oh no. Remember, I didn't choose green so I could oppress people, man. I didn't even know this was gonna happen. I chose it because it was my favorite color, but this is bad. And look, you can see it's single companies that own everything. We have the same company here that owns Monarchs and Cutlass, the same one here that owns Windsward Everfall and Evanscale, the same one with Requater and Weavers. You know, if, you're, if your faction has one company doing everything, and my faction has six, you know, that's a huge major advantage, and that's what we literally see right now. So one thing I noticed about my special little farming area here in Bronze Grove, and uh, I know it's not going to be special for long, right? But it, it is clearly one of the best places to level wood cutting because if you have this place to yourself, you just get massive weird wood tree XP. And there are so many of them that you can clear all of them out. And uh, by the time you reach the last one, they start respawning. Plus there's a boss farm. But one thing I noticed is that, uh, and you probably noticed it as well from my last video based on what I said, uh, you can't get everything, right? It's full of star metal. It's full of gold gold and silver and azoth water a little bit and the weird wood tree itself you can't get it all without running out of space and then even then if you run to your bank you don't have any bank space right not this early in the game so i think one of the best strategies would be to take a friend here and like you get the wood and your friend gets all the ore uh you both have pvp on to maximize xp and then you help each other if somebody appears i think that's literally what it is I think that is literally all you have to do. And then you'd have full control over this place, strong health potion, and uh, you'd get a ridiculous amount of XP, and you wouldn't waste resources like I am, because I just can't. I'm thinking to myself now, you need to pick up the wood. 
right? You need to level up your wood cutting, your logging as much as you can. I can't waste my life on these long ass star metal nodes. Like, look, I have a star metal pick and this is going to take forever. I just need to go tree to tree to tree right now. Okay, so while that one part of the bronze grove is particularly good uh, just for farming off weird wood trees in general, right? And also the star metal. If you go right above it, you can actually find uh, a big cluster, in fact, of these little wooden wolf dog things and the the important thing is that number one you're leveling up your weapon skill by killing these things but number two you can actually cut them down when they die and they're actually killable in four hits with the star metal wood cutting axe and uh not just that but they give 885 wood cutting xp each kill and they basically spawn within five seconds of killing them right now because the spawn timers are all messed up. So what I ended up doing, because I didn't care about the weird wood itself, even though you do get a lot from these, I was just dropping it because it's literally worth eight cents right now on the server each. It's just not worth anybody's time and I can easily go farm it, right? So I was just killing these things, knocking them down, and my XP was just going through the roof. And the goal here was to get to a point where we could finally ditch this area and move on to iron wood which is a really big pivotal moment because that's when stuff starts to get crazy another very interesting thing about this spot is that you get life quintessences every single time you kill these creatures and you can get anywhere from one to three from what i noticed i ended up getting over 300 on this journey and uh, all of those sold for around eight gold each it might be different based on your server or the town uh, but eight gold each 300 of them means i made roughly 2400 gold uh just grinding my logging up which i had to do anyway and not even selling any of the logs or anything like that it was just a completely different drop so this is a really good place to farm life quintessences you can get them really quick this actually took me probably two hours uh between where i started at the beginning of the video which was like 164 or something like that uh to 175 that's really quick believe it or not and like i said once you get over this really big grindy hump with the weird wood trees and with these creatures uh you start you start really going crazy with the ironwood, and I'll show you guys that soon. It's actually ridiculous. Wow, I, I had to say something. You know, I've been recording, getting some clips, and I just got to Eden Grove. And isn't this gorgeous? What the hell, man? That's the coolest thing I've seen so far. Yeah, I really dig this place. This is sick. Is this just a normal tree? It's all red and white. It's just so nice, man. This is a young tree. Wow. I wish you could get like, I don't know, some kind of furniture that was themed this color. That would be sick. It's just green wood. I wonder if someday all of these little low level trees will be slightly different and this would be like redwood or it's not redwood obviously but you know what i mean like it would be something a little different and uh maybe it wouldn't make ash furniture it'd make a completely different bit of furniture that's only aesthetically different look at that man this is so good this is an mmo not a single player game and it's running beautifully by the way so I'm in Eden Grove, and the point is to try cutting down iron wood trees. Everything here is trying to kill me, and everything here can easily kill me, because I am under-leveled dramatically for the zone. It's a 51 to max zone, and I am level 44 at the moment. But, I think... Farming the iron wood here is going to be faster XP than my special, um, you know, bronze grove zone down here. Uh, so we're going to try it, and if it's not, we can always go back. As of now, I have 300 plus life quintessent selling from my farm there. That's pretty good. That should be some pretty decent money. And from what I can see, iron wood should be in this general valley right here. So I'm going to make my way in that area. I think there's also a shrine to TP back. That's going to be super important. Here it is. This is a small one, guys. They get bigger. Don't worry. I'm just curious. What does a small ironwood tree give me? I might need to see if I can upgrade my axe to orichalcum, too. This is not egregiously slow, but it could get annoying on the bigger ones, I think. Wow. 4,400 XP for a baby? I was getting 800 each on those mobs, and that was great XP. All right, I think this might be it if we can avoid dying. It depends. These forests look pretty peaceful. I don't know. I'm hoping they stay peaceful. The roads are actually super dangerous in this zone. <gasps> there it is. Look at that. Okay, that's slow. <laughs> we might have to upgrade. We'll stay for a bit and just get this entire round of trees. There's a shrine, like, right here. 
apparently. Uh, so I can easily come back and just farm these. It's going to be great. And I'm going to keep these logs. I'll keep at least some. It depends. It depends. Oh my god, that was a whole level right there. <laughs> that was a whole level. All right, I'm going to keep farming these and we'll see how much XP we can get. It turns out I can kill the stuff here very easily. Like it's not difficult in the slightest, actually. Can I skin this? I can even skin the stuff. I'm way ahead for this place. That's crazy. Look at that. And it's a stupid amount of XP too, just like the ironwood. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, there's supposed to be two other trees here. And for the life of me, I can't see them. Uh, so maybe it's either wrong or I'm blind. Or yeah, I think it might just be wrong. I think it was just, you know, I have a map I'm looking at and it doesn't look like it's there. It's literally, I'll show you guys. It, it's... <laughs> Really drawn in uh, with Microsoft Paint or something. Um, <laughs> it, it is what it is. I got it off Reddit. I know there's a website for it, but I found this first and I'm sticking to it. It hasn't entirely failed me so far, so I'm going to keep looking for more stuff. Okay, making progress. That is 140 trekking and skinning. Alrighty, and this ironwood tree gives me 185 logging, guys. Alright, it's been a bit. I've gained a lot of tracking and skinning levels very, very fast, but this is 150 to tracking and skinning guys absolutely crazy fast xp now 160 tracking and 165 tracking guys okay it was at this moment that i decided to go back to town put some stuff in the bank put some stuff up on the trading post and uh one of the things i thought to do was uh get some herb roasted carrots right i thought you know i'm let me skin some more let me track some more let me see what i can do in that regard and i know i could cook this the herb roasted carrots boosts my luck so i have a higher chance of getting rare materials when I skin and I know I'm gonna be skinning a whole lot of these guys right because it's plentiful it's right next to the ironwood trees so I thought this would be a pretty good way to do it so we'll see how much it helps another really cool thing is I found a skinning chest that happened to have perfect stats on it for me that is also gonna boost my luck with skinning while I do this and uh, we ended up getting 170 tracking And there you go, 195 tracking and skinning. So close. Okay, guys, this is gonna be 200 logging. Episode 4 honestly went way faster towards the end than it was in the middle. So really, really weird there. But I believe this ironwood tree is gonna be my final goal completed. At this point, I can play the game. There you go. Maxed out logging. Oh, yes, man. And ironwood can now be tracked, which is very useful because I was using this ironwood spot the entire time with the map that I showed you guys before. And uh, yeah, it, it's plentiful. You can make the run from where I am right now and then go all the way through this valley. And uh, by the time you're on your way back, everything is respawning. And another thing is, as you can see here. All right, guys, here we go. The final primal lion and 200 tracking and skinning. Easy. Yes, man. We can also easily max out our skinning, which we did. I went ahead and got 200 skinning this entire time too, skinning and tracking. So easy mode, two maxed out skills on episode four. Very happy about that one. And we're not even level 45 yet. Not even level 45. Remember the max level is 60. So this is a good moment. We have many, many other skills to go. But this will always be remembered as the day that we got our very, very first max level skills. All right, guys, we've done a lot in this video so far. Uh, I've maxed out my logging, maxed out my tracking and skinning. These are absolutely massive starter goals to have completed. Didn't even think I would have a second skill maxed so quickly. Uh, but logging, yeah, you know what? It was a grind. I won't, I won't lie, right? Uh, you know basically starting at level one and all the way up until you can reach ironwood it's the worst now as soon as you reach ironwood you can bust out max super quick so it's kind of like a prize it's like hey you actually stuck out through the horrible grind long enough we're gonna reward you at the very end by making it really fast with the ironwood i appreciated that now tracking and skinning that was just surprisingly easy i was just leveling it as i played my character before and then i just realized i can easily max this i mean we went from 140 to 200 in the same spot and it probably only took me a couple hours uh again that's uh all the way up here in eden grove in the uh, stained bluffs area it's just so good and there's a free 
freaking shrine right there. It, it's the ultimate farming spot. I'm lucky because I'm doing it early when nobody's there, but good luck if you wait. Because this would have been slow if I had to compete with anybody. Uh, it's like 50 times faster when I'm alone. It's actually phenomenal. What to do now though, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll go to first light and we'll level up our harvesting, uh, maybe the weaving skills, stuff like that. I've got to level up my furnishing, right? 74. I want to get it much higher for a better house. So that's a big goal for me as well. And then just rounding out fishing at 50. Besides Arcana and Engineering, which are really going to be pretty easy, I think, just to get to 50. That's my lowest skill. That's my least good skill. My only skill that's not base 50 outside of Arcana Engineering. Those are the only three I got to get up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I like where my stats are right now. I think I'm doing pretty good. And you know, you can't forget, I also maxed out my hatchet already. I'm level 44. Maxed out level 20 hatchet. I really like it. I like it a lot. The bow is the next one for me to max out. Okay, I just got 76 actually furnishing. And hey, um, upgrade with Monarch's Bluff too. I'll take that. Let's see. Decrease crafting fee for sure. I do a lot of crafting here. Reason being is uh, the trading post, which has relatively low prices, but I can buy stuff in Windsward and come here. It doesn't matter. But uh, more importantly, though, if I do use the trading post, it's across from a storage shed. And then right down here, all the crafting stuff you use the most is also right next to a storage shed. So I'm here often, but uh, yeah. Crafting just happens in this city as well for me. 76 furnishing is actually a big deal though. And that's because at 75, I could make a ash large table, which might be able to replace my six ugly ash tables that I'm literally stacking up to try to make something like this. It just depends entirely on how big it is. I mean, it could be complete garbage. I really hope it's not. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. And maybe I'll be able to sell these steel settler stoves I made along the way for maybe like... 80 gold each or something. It, it's something. It's better than nothing. By extension, this is so much smaller. And I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I guess we're gonna make it work. <laughs> like, look at look at it. It's just so bad. I definitely can't have my rugs like that. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Holy crap, it actually looks good. I mean, yeah, I'm not used to it because it's smaller, but it actually looks good. We could take this out a bit. Give it like a slight angle. Okay, let's see how the placemats and stuff fits. I can't even believe I care. It's kind of fun to be honest with you on New World. You know, I never get into this kind of stuff, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try everything and we're just going to like it. Okay, the placemats just don't fit right. Like not everyone can have one, you know what I mean? Like some people are just gonna have to sit out. <laughs> That's fine. You know, I almost liked the grand table a lot more. <laughs> like this is the more I think about it, the more I kind of want the old one back. Maybe it wasn't so ugly after all. You would have thought, I mean, they just need to make it bigger, right? It's just bad the way it is right now. Because, okay, the only thing holding this back is that it's an ugly ash table. But maybe a maple one won't look so bad. But for now, I think it's still better, right? Um, maybe you'll disagree. <laughs> maybe you literally don't care. Uh, but I... I can't do this. You know what? A lot of the furniture is just straight up ugly, I've realized. Uh, it just doesn't work, right? Like the dining room table I just showed you. Look at this. Look at this comparison. It's, it's actually... It hurts my soul just a little bit. Look, what is this? What? What is... This is a bench, man. Like you could fold the right part upwards and it would literally be a bench. <laughs> like this is not a dining room table. Who thinks that this is a dining room table? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's an actual dining room table and this is just a table. It does say large table and this isn't large to me. I'm just, that's my point, right? If it said medium table, I'd be like, okay, but it's a large table. I mean, I could see it being a workbench, right? I love that idea, but my house is shit right now. Okay, we don't have that kind of room. Maybe I'll throw it outside. Okay. You know what? Here. I don't completely hate it. <laughs> I don't. Maybe we'll find something that can go on it, but it's fine. Wait, what the hell? That's horrible. There we go. That's better. Kind of. Nope, that sucks too. Okay, we'll do it like that. Fine. Okay, this is the house. I'm done here. Let's go. Okay, listen, that's going to be the end of this video. I, I know I said I was going to do, you know, an every two or three day 40 minute video, but I made the gains and uh, I got those nice farming spots. I, I got the levels faster, right? I was able to grind it out in maybe like a 10 hour total session for this video. And that's pretty sick. So I thought, you know what? Let me push it out and show you guys that the progress has been made and uh, start on another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. McDoubles out.